In this short video, I want you to share something which we all take for granted, but in fact, it's absolutely not, and it's a huge, huge step. So let's have a look. You see how this young man is getting able to bring his foot into the stationary shoe, right? Again, if you think about the way how you put the uh, shoes on your children, usually it's just having a stationary foot and then putting like drawing the shoe on right so and this is how we usually the healthy people do it so you see stationary shoe and then the activity of the toes then climbing in right again opening closing opening closing getting in and then see the ability to control the shoe by just climbing in, kind of crawling into the shoe. This is really a very, very important property. Because for this property, you need to have several key aspects, key controls. One control is that you're able to do the toes switch from flexion to extension and back into flexion and then back to extension and so on but not just on the spot but then being combined with the grip to the ground and this grip itself has to be stronger between the foot and the inside of the shoot sole in comparison to the grip that the shoe sole has with the floor so that's an important thing because otherwise you know you would be sliding right so you see then if you are not able to do that but saying stronger i mean more controllable of course if we kind of just fix the shoe in a glued fashion to the floor it would be relatively easy to get into it so talking about the control the shoe that has a tendency to slide right so it's kind of slippery and try to run away and you are able to get into the shoe controlling this inner interface of your foot with the inside of the shoe better than the uh, like being able to split it into smaller increments of control and climbing in so that's the indication of the control of the fascia, you know, of the entire foot pad itself. So, see, once again, hop, hop. See, the shoe slides a little bit. See, that's the slide of the shoe. But then he manages to complete this crawl inside. So, this is really a very, very big and important thing, which then translates into all sorts of controls that are necessary for standing walking and so on and particularly of course for the weight transfer and uh, this is important because you know when you typically switch to the training of your child into walking or when you think okay when my child is going to walk will he walk how possible is that and so on you don't pay attention to those things which look kind of smaller and belonging to the other aspects which could be kind of the fine motor skills of the foot but based on this quality you can predict the evolution of the other properties the evolution of the properties of how the feet grip to the ground and how they transfer the weight and again this is happening even if the arch is flat and so on so there are lots of things which are kind of still require further integration and so on but that connection that activity of the toes gives us a wonderful uh, illustration of how things work and uh, well what we actually should be also seeing as a progress but of course it has to be also seen not just as the kind of this really fine action of the foot but even smaller things that you might like not really appreciate changing in the way how you, your child is able to be clothed or how uh, he or she is assisting you in getting dressed right you see here that's stationary 
stationary pants and then the leg that moves into the pants so you see the back side of the foot being able to crawl through without kind of uh, twisting or without raising the uh, toes because typically that's a big problem right so you see if you try to put uh, the clothes on your child then you know they just get a grip with the bottom of their toes and the foot uh, gets stuck inside the trousers so this movement is again critically important that ability to climb and crawl with the leg inside the trousers so now once you have heard the whole story let's look at it once again at the phases of this transition right stationary shoe activity of the toes and as we look at the activity of the toes right what you are seeing very well actually in both the hands and the feet the visibility of the knuckles the visibility of the knuckles is critical for this activity so visibility of the knuckles comes thanks to additional work and stimulus that we deliver so working at the hands and the feet is really important in that sense because you want to see those knuckles emerging and showing up the indication of the independent and this kind of controlled wave function within the foot right so you see that's the wave function within the foot that you want to evolve and you want to see developing so that's the lesson for today i hope that this is informative and helpful